Um, I am Brian O'Connor, Chief Geologist for New Gold Inc. Um, so my job is to coordinate the geological work required for New Gold to advance exploration projects and bring those exploration projects into uh, a future mine. So essentially what we do is work almost like normal people. Uh, we work Monday to Friday for the most of the, most of the time. And then we um, and we'll work anywhere from six in the morning till six at night and sometimes later depending on what information needs to be sent out to different people. In the exploration side, uh, we'll work seven days a week and sometimes right around the clock. So shift-wise, um, the kind of hours, if in an office environment, we'll work office hours from 8 till 5 o'clock, uh, putting together reports for the government, reports for our head office. Um, and again, in the um, exploration side, you, it generally diamond drills, which we use as a tool to uh, find out what the rock looks like at depth. We'll go 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and so you'll have, uh, you can have a day shift and a night shift, and those will rotate over, uh, over like from week to week, but at the end it'll be a 24 hour rotation. This one, when you do the administrative role, uh, physically it's not that demanding other than being able to lift a pencil. Uh, mostly um, it's mental that we, we do at the office perspective. Out in the field, you're dealing with rock and core. Uh, you're lifting 50, 60 pound boxes of core and 30 or 40 of them a day. And you can do even more if you're doing an entire hole. As a career, what geology can do is take you to anywhere you want to go in the world. Uh, as long as there's rock around, that's where uh, we would go as geologists. So you can work in Mexico, you can work in um, South America, Africa, name a continent, and you can be there. So that's it gives affords you that uh, ability to travel if that's what you want, um, and of course experience different cultures, uh, you know, learn new languages. Besides that, the rock is very interesting. It tells the story of the earth and uh, those discovering why it's there and, and uh, how, it, how the rock got where it is is, is an interesting topic. Now, for education to be a geologist, you need, of course, your high school. You need a university degree, which is four years um, in a recognized university. In the province of British Columbia, you also need um, two to four years of work in geology to become a professional geoscientist. For this position, you, because you're working in a varied amount, you're either in an office environment or you're out in the field or you're in a mine, uh, you're going to meet almost the gamut of personalities that are out in the world. So what you need to be able to do is, is handle uh, a myriad of personalities. You need to be outgoing. Um, you need to be able to approach people. Uh, without any problem. It, it, it's more difficult for shy people than uh, those people who are more outgoing. This career, um, and especially in British Columbia, what you can do, and there's, there's quite a number of pathways, is you can work with a, a mining company uh, for your life. You can strike it out on your own, um, which is you know, entrepreneurial, but as well, there are um, quite a few millionaire geologists in the province of British Columbia because they did that. If you apply your knowledge, you can go out and find a deposit, uh, define it, raise the money to be able to do that, and then you can turn it over to a mining company uh, at, a, at a later date once you've defined a resource for them to consider mining. 
the variety, I think, uh, is what I like about it personally. Um, you know, I started off in New Brunswick. I've been worked in Quebec. I've worked in Ontario, and I've, this is my second spot in British Columbia. Uh, I like personally like to travel around and see different things and learn new experiences, and that's what geology can afford you to do.